When we're talking about surveillance security cameras, there's a couple that comes to mind. We're thinking about dome when we want to do an indoor installation, bullets when we want to do an outdoor installation, and you know, there's the turret that kind of is a mix of both cameras. But not often enough we think about PTZ cameras because they're always more expensive. We don't really get the use of a PTZ camera because auto tracking, why would I need that and everything like so. But Unify Protect with their release of the G5 PTZ kind of changed the way we see PTZ cameras now. They're affordable and they do everything better. <laughs> and honestly, it's quite impressive. So today we'll review the G5 PTZ from Unify Protect. We'll do a live event directly from a snowstorm and you will see how it roll in action. Let's get to it. First off, let's start with the specs. But we're also going to talk about like an unconventional unboxing because as you can see, the camera is already installed and we installed it previously to do our demo. But when you go on the website of Unify Protect, and you go down from the G5 PTZ, you have the in the box picture, which shows you everything you need to know of what you're getting with the camera. In that case, you get a wall mount, you also get a pole mount, and that's the one we are using right now, and different screws to be able to tie them up. Now, if we look at the technical specification of the camera, well, there's a lot to unpack. Again, because of PTZ, has more option than just a regular camera. This one has a 2K video resolution. You have a 2X optical zoom, so that's the way the camera will zoom in without losing any resolution. You also have a 20 meters IR night vision. You can detect some AI events like automatic person tracking. There is also a microphone, so you can record the audio. There's integrated LED spotlights for color night vision. So that means, and we'll also see it uh, in the web interface, but you can set up your camera so when someone gets close to it, it will turn on the spotlights and you'll be able to see that person in color. So this is using right now a PoE Plus. It is weatherproof, so if I'm not mistaken, the rating is IP66. It has a resistance of vendor proof of IK04 and it's running at 30 FPS. All right, so that's pretty much what you have inside the box when you get the product, but there's a lot of accessories you can get for the PTZ as well. So you're not limited to the pole mount and the wall mount bracket. As you can see right under the camera on the website, you can have access to an in-sealing mount, a surface mount, pendant mount, corner mount, conduit adapter. So there's a lot of different installation you can do with this. So again, making it very versatile. But now, as I mentioned, we installed it previously during a snowstorm to be able to really monitor how it reacts in that kind of conditions because again, motion detection can be pretty hard in that kind of condition, but this one, huge success. So we'll jump to the live viewer and watch our camera. All right, we are now inside the interface of Unify Protect where we find our G5 PTZ. Remember that you need a Protect console to make this work and have access to your devices. In our case, we're using the UDM Pro. Now, if you click on your camera, here you have an overview of your camera where you can see the status of the camera, its connection, IP address, FPS, so all the necessary information to know what's going on with your camera. Clicking on the right side of this, you have recording settings. Here is to customize how your camera will record. So having a recording option is to decide when the camera is recording. So if you want it to always be recording or maybe on schedule. So when you're leaving to work at night, the camera will be triggered and be able to record everything from there. You also have a different recording mode. So if you want it to record at all time or during specific events. So if there's a person or a car that is being detected in front of the camera, this is when the camera would start recording. In that sense, you're saving money because again, it's storage space, right? So if you're not continuously recording, well, you need less storage. So you only get the events. So at the end of the day, you don't have to replace your hard drive. So if we keep going down, 
you can create motion events and customize how this would work. So by seconds of motion needed to trigger a detection, seconds to record before events. So this gives you an idea of what happened before the event. It's always useful to understand the better context of the situation. If I keep going down, you can also create AI events. If you go inside edit video detection types, this is the kind of AI events you can create with your PTZ camera. In that case, we can have animal detection, person detection, and vehicle detection. I will select everything and save. And same thing here, so you have the seconds added before AI detection and after that you can customize to your need. Keep going down, you have your recording quality. So if I want to change and customize my FPS, my video compression, encoding, and also the recording resolution. We talked about storage. So by default, this camera is recording in 2K resolution, but you can put it down also to HD. In the overlay information, so that's the info that you get on your picture. So I'm gonna show you real quick. If I open my camera right here, I go back there and I will change the overlay information. Right now, I only have the logo on the bottom right of my screen, but I can add the camera name, time, and even bitrate. I apply the changes. And as you can see on the top left, all the information of the camera appears. So you can, again, customize this to your needs. Personally, I just like to have the camera name. So apply changes and then I know it's my G5 PTZ. Uh, recording retention, this is again, uh, recording or retain for a specified period as long as there's enough storage to accommodate. So this is again something you can customize. So now we are at the bottom of our recording options. You can also edit your motion zones, smart detection zones, and if you want to add privacy zones. So again, depending on what you're monitoring, sometimes you want to concentrate on a specific things. A good example is a parking lot. If you want to monitor mostly the cars that are parking there and not the cars that drives by, you're able to create a zone on that specific area. Now, going again, right? So next to the recording options, you have the settings of the camera. So going back to the top, you can change the name of your camera, making it easier for you to find inside your interface because again, you can have multiple different PTZs. So this way you're able to recognize if it's the outside one, inside one, or where you installed it. You also have the image tuning that you can change right here. You have access to your microphone sensitivity. Again, you can disable permanently the microphone, but keep in mind that if you do this, you need to reset your camera to bring back the microphone. So there will be some kind of downtime when you activate your microphone back. Then you have the night vision with the status light. Uh, you can also create tags. So tags is something you can create in your interface to again, find your camera easier. If you're doing a parking lot installation and maybe you have a lot of camera on the left side, well, you can tag them to parking lot left. So when you click on tag, well, all these camera will appear. Now, a nice thing about this PTZ is the enhancer. We kind of discussed it a little bit uh, when we're talking about the color night vision. So as you can see in the graphic that we have on the screen, this means it's the distance. So I'll read it as they say. I think they have a better phrasing that I might. So the camera spotlight will colorize nighttime detection recording. It lights up when an object is detected in a specific detection zone. So as I mentioned, the closer people get, well, then the spotlight can be turned on. Uh, you can also choose the amount of time that the spotlight is turned on. So turn off the spotlight after no motion for 15 seconds, 30 seconds, 45 seconds. Again, that can be helpful in many scenarios. Now, when we're talking about presets and how to configure them, keep in mind, this is more a professional security camera. So we, we talk about the distinction between a PTZ, dome, bullet, and turret. This is one of them because when you're monitoring a big business with different doors, where you also have your parking, you have where people take their breaks. Well, having presets is that you predetermine where the camera will focus. In that scenario, it means that the person monitoring doesn't need to move the camera around to make sure, well, okay, I need to go to the door. Okay, I need to go to the break spot. If I have presets, 
Well, I configure them and I click one button and then it will move to the parking lot. It will move to the brake spot. It just makes your life easier when you have to monitor a situation. In that case, using that G5 PTZ, you have access to nine different presets. So you can monitor nine different places as one. And it's actually really easy to do. So for example, if I move a little bit to the left, I press on S, it will save my preset. So now I have preset number two. I press S here, I have preset number three. So now if I click, for example, here, I will remove the presets. I click on two, it moves my camera to the left. I click on three, to the right. So it's pretty automatic. And as I mentioned before, you also have your ohm right here. So when I reset to ohm, go back to its original spot to have a global view of the situation. Now, in that case, we can also have a mouse control turn on, so you're able to monitor using your mouse. And I think the most neat feature when we're talking about a PTZ, and especially the G5 that we have right here, is the person auto tracking. You have nothing to do. You click on person auto tracking, and now our model will demonstrate for you how it works. Keep in mind, we are in our studio, but still you see the camera is able to tracking pretty easily even though it's going extremely fast in front of the camera. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna close this so you guys don't get you know, any dizziness from the, the, the motion on your screen. And actually, I also want to talk about how to improve your PTZ camera. Recently, Ubiquiti released the AI part which helps you improve your camera, any camera. But again, I think that improving the PTZ like this one makes it makes the biggest difference because with the AI part you're able to have advanced analytics so you're able to have facial recognitions and license plate recognitions so when we're talking about tracking different things and monitoring you're able to also catch uh, great information if you need them for a report it's it's just by connecting your AI part to your controller you give the AI to your camera job is done, you have an improved PTZ. Actually, I have the AI part right underneath me, so I'm gonna show you guys right now, and I'm actually, will go back to this screen to show you the difference. So we have our AI port here. It's already inside our interface. So I will close the live view. I will click to pair, select my G5 PTZ, save. As you can see, there's AI that appears so right on the interface. I can go back to my PTZ. It is now enhanced by the AI port. And if I go back here, I have in this overlay detection highlights. So I'm able to do a face detection, for example, with the confidence level. So let's see what we get from our good friend Oleg. So now it's getting in the camera and you're able to see his face. So we're 92% sure it's Oleg, which is a, a good rating. So as you can see, it doesn't take much, just this small device and you're able to improve your PTZ. In that case, you don't need to replace your camera. You can buy this as an add-on and then improve this camera. And eventually in the future, they mentioned that this will be able to improve up to five Unify Protect cameras. Keep that in mind, it's a good, good device. Now, we're gonna jump in on the timeline and see what we're recording during our live demo. All right, and now onto the main show. So we're going into the detection that were previously recorded on the G5 PTZ. To access detections of your camera, you go to the left-hand side of your screen and you click on detections and you will have a bunch of pictures that appear right here. So as you can see, I have different things. I have person, I have vehicles, and I can review them. So I wanted to show you this part simply because I think it shows what a PTZ can actually do. And just to show that I wasn't lying, I'm also going to show you the amount of snow that was happening. Like a good friendly neighborhood where people help others removing snow from the rooftop of their car. And why I like this situation when testing a camera, it might seem odd, but because there's a lot of false alarm when we're talking about AI. And it's something that can really be really bad for the installers because then the end user calls you, why is my camera recording a lot of alarms? Nothing's happening, but it's just the motion from the snow that is triggering the camera. 
This never happened in that case, so it's a really good sign and that's what makes this camera pretty great in my head. So I'm gonna show you, for example, a person detection right here. So the way the PTZ works, it will find the person that appears on the screen and it will follow them until they exit the field of view of the camera. In that case, it followed the person until they actually exited the view of the camera to the left. So if I look, the same thing will happen with cars. So if I go down and I pick that car, for example, so the car appears, the camera, you have the overlay on the car right here. It's following the car until it exits. So as you can see, that's the power of a PTZ, right? You don't have to monitor everything by yourself. The camera will do it for you. So as we mentioned, there's different types of camera. You have bullet, dome, turret, but keep in mind that PTZ exists. It brings a whole other world of features inside your camera. And if, well, this one is not enough for you, keep in mind that Ubiquiti also have the G4 PTZ Industrial. It brings higher resolution and a higher zoom as well. So this is something, well, maybe you would want us to test this camera. If that's something you want, leave us a comment below. We'll get our hands on it. If you want to support the channel, best way to do it is to use the affiliate link in the description below. Like and subscribe. Guys, it was a pleasure. See you on the next one.